Today on Two Minute Everyday Carry Review, I'm going to quickly go over the Tritium Pry Bar from Glow Rhino. Hey, you can always use another pry bar, can't you? Let's take a look at this thing. This is a fairly small tool at just under three inches in length. On the front, you've got your pry bar, which also works well as like a box opener, a scoring tool, or flathead screwdriver. There is a bottle opener here as well, and then on the opposite side is an opening for a key ring or lanyard attachment. The pry bar comes in at about 50 bucks. It's made from titanium and has a, a really durable construction. Now, one thing I've always come to check out when I get new pry bars uh, is the edges. Sometimes the edges are just too fine and chip easily as a result. Uh, that's not the case with this one. I can use this thing with, without having to worry about damaging the tool. Now, you might be wondering what this thing is here in the middle of the bar. That is a tritium inlay. It's a distinctive of the Glow Rhino brand, uh, and it glows in the dark. It's something unique that the brand incorporates into all of its products. Uh, tritium is a radioactive hydrogen isotope with a half-life of about 12 years, which ultimately means it will last you a while and doesn't require a light source to glow. Now, I have carelessly thrown this in a bag before, and the tritium really makes this thing stand out. You'll easily be able to spot this even in the darkest corners of your bag. And what I also like about this pry bar is that it doesn't try to be too much. It's pretty thin at about 0.2 inches. It's also lightweight and TSA compliant. Now, although there is a spot for a keyring attachment, I prefer to carry this in something like an admin pouch or even, <laughs> Even a pocket caddy will work nicely too. That's it for today's two minute EDC review. I'll leave links in the description below. Thanks for watching.